Hi everyone, I am Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Master. And I am excited to introduce a new playlist. And I like to call it as a Databricks for everyone in 2025. Whether you are a data engineer or a data analytics or a generative AI enthusiastic or a machine learning professional or even if you have just completed your graduation and you want to deep dive into the world of Databricks, this playlist is for you. So my goal is to help you advance your career in Databricks, ace your interviews and also clear the certifications on the Databricks. So let's kick off the things with a question called what Databricks is. I would say Databricks is a cloud-based analytics platform that brings together all the data professionals on one unified platform. It was founded in 2013 by the original creators of the uh, Spark, Apache Spark. So people, those who built Spark, they have built this company called Databricks. So initially it was called as a Spark Unified Platform, but now it is recognized as a Databricks Data Intelligence Platform. So over the years, Databricks has introduced an innovative solution like Lakehouse, a very powerful architecture that combines the best part of both the worlds like data lakes and data warehouses and they have bought or they have coined this term called Lakehouse. While they used to prefer it as a Databricks Lakehouse platform back then, but now the focus is completely changed and now it is just a Databricks data intelligence platform. As we all know that AI is a huge buzzword right now. Yes, Databricks is fully invested in this trend providing you the robust tools for building up a generative AI applications on a platform. So throughout this playlist, I'll take you to the journey starting with data engineering, then data analytics, slowly, mo moving slowly towards the machine learning, generative AI with lot of lot of hands-on insights and the practical tips that helps you to succeed. So let us which to the Databricks URL here. So now it says your data, your AI and your future. So all of them in one single platform or a new data intelligence platform. So if you just scroll down, you can see uh, data, the Databricks, the data intelligence platform. You can unify all your data and AI assets in one single platform. Whether you are looking for a data engineering and you want to do a complete ETL, that is data extraction, transformation, and then loading. Yeah, Databricks is for you. Like you can connect to varieties of different sources and you can extract the data into the platform and then you can start doing the transformation. And when it comes to the transformation, we have a very powerful tool called Spark that helps you to do the parallel processing. And we have a Databricks notebooks where you can start writing the PySpark code there. Even you can write a SQL or you can use a Scala or R. Many other programming languages, uh, like majorly four programming languages are supported. And you can do the transformation by using PySpark and then load the table or load it to the table with your respective databases and so on. So you can perform the ETL and you can do the, tra you can do this all automation by using a feature or a tool within the Databricks called Databricks Workflows. With the help of uh, Databricks workflow jobs, you can do a complete automation for your ETL. Then if you are looking at uh, data warehousing, like you want, um, you have a massive data in the structured format and you want to write a queries, you want to do some complex calculations, or even you want to build a dashboard. Yes, we have a tool, we have a Databricks SQL, a complete stack for a data analytics for a business users that can help you to query your data within the same platform. Yeah, within the same platform, even you can build dashboards and we have a new capabilities coming in onto the Databricks SQL that is called Databricks Jenny. 
uh, we also call it as an ai bi that is artificial intelligence and business intelligence platform where you can create a dashboard by just writing a simple natural language and on top of that dashboard you can enable the genie space as well so genie space is just like a chat gpt kind of interface interface but it's for your own data so whatever the data that is stored in your databases that is in your catalogs you can simply write a simple prompt a simple question to a ui based called genie space and it will try to generate a sql script out of it so there are not a lot of capabilities coming on onto the databricks sql uh, so people those who are using it for the where like a warehousing like they want a serverless compute yes databricks allows you to give that uh, capabilities by using this databricks sql and apart from that databricks allows you to work on the machine learning as well like if you want to do an experiments that helps you to do the forecasting that helps you to do the prediction or you want to do a regression yes databricks helps you to do a complete uh, stack of machine learning that is called as a databricks ml in that you can uh, use the machine ml flow that helps you to do the model registry model tracking experiments and also serve the model using the serving endpoint yeah you can use a complete end-to-end -end machine learning in the same platform called databricks and if you are someone who is looking for a uh, generative ai like i want to use a uh, prompt engineering i want to move further to build a rag that is retrieval augmented generation or i want to build some agents and i want to deploy them and get a, a model serving endpoint yes you can do everything by using the single platform and that is possible in databricks so in this playlist we'll start with a uh, data engineering one and then we'll move towards the data analytics we'll learn uh, data governance also and when it comes to the data governance you don't need to rely on the third party tools or some other services uh, within the databricks we have a feature called unity catalog now unity catalog is an open source it's a complete data governance solution developed by the databricks but now it's an open source so we are going to talk about the um, unity catalog and when it comes to storing a data we generally pick up a, a most you can say an advanced table formats and when it comes to advanced table formats or a modern data uh, table formats those are uh, delta lakes we have apache iceberg we have hoodies we are going to discuss in detail about the delta lake we are going to discuss about apache iceberg and so on so throughout our playlist we'll discuss about data engineering concepts doing the hands-on yeah we'll go deep dive into the advanced concepts of the spark like how the spark memory management works how we can uh, leverage uh, spark for parallel processing if you are dealing with terabytes of data or we can use the internals of this spark like uh, caching persist how we can very faster by using partition by we are going to do the lot of optimizations on the spark side and also we are going to talk about optimizations on the delta type uh, delta side so this playlist would be packed with a lot of advanced concepts as well as it will start it with the very uh, basic and then i'll move to the advanced concepts like optimizing the spark side optimizing on the delta side and so on so let us jump on to the other parts of the databricks ui here and you can see the customers those who are talking about the databricks so there are more than uh, 12000 plus active customers those who are currently uh, using databricks and all your uh, all their data and AI assets are within the databricks and you can just scroll down now let me show you how we can sign up for the databricks account so this is again the latest one i am recording this in the month of march 2025 so when you click on try databricks it will take you to the new page and where you can start creating a free trial there are three ways how we can start creating a databricks account so first is the express account so uh, this express account as a name itself indicates it's super fast you don't need to 
set up any cloud account you don't need to look at the uh, cloud services and so on just you need to click on uh, continue with the express account and behind the scene databricks will take care of all the other things like infrastructure the cloud provider and everything you just get a databricks platform so we are going to look at the setting up an express account in the next video and the second type of uh, databricks account is our uh, normal one we can simply call it as an using your existing cloud account with the help of your cloud account you can set up your uh, databricks it might be with your azure or aws or gcp that is the second method and the third one is just for a uh, hands-on for a practice so for the beginners those who just want to start uh, working on the databricks just want to start getting their hands on on databricks i recommend you to switch to the community edition so databricks uh, has the community edition that is absolutely free you don't need to pay anything for that there are only few clicks how we can start uh, signing up for the community edition i'll help you how to start up uh, start with your community edition account and once you sign up behind the scene there's an aws who's providing this all community edition so uh, we will talk about how the databricks architecture is like what is control plane and data plane like to run the databricks software we need a compute we need uh, instances so that are provided by the aws for free in the community edition so we are going to see how to sign up for the community edition and let me tell you about the express account in express account they give you around 400 dollars uh, for one month validity so you uh, like what i would suggest is if you are starting with the uh, like as a beginners go with the community edition play around with the community edition we have a notebooks we have a compute we can start a compute you can play with the notebook once you are comfortable with that then you can either set up for the express account or you can go with the cloud account so i'll also uh, tell you in our upcoming videos like how to get a compute that is of the lower cost we are going to reduce the cost for a single user so you can spend few dollars per hour or maybe per day and you can do a complete hands-on so having a good knowledge on how to uh, create a compute how the compute works and behind the scene what are the different services that are running you can also spin the compute for your own use case or for your own learning and you can keep the resources very very minimal so we are going to create a new community edition account i'm going to start it from the scratch in the next video and then we are going to start working on it similarly i'll be creating a other video on how to set up an express account in the databricks so that's all for uh, this video guys i need a support from you and i'm making this a uh, playlist again it's a databricks for everyone in 2025 so i want your support i want you to like this video subscribe to my channel and share it with your teammates and if you are looking for any specific topic on the databricks whether it might be from data engineering to the generative ai anything feel free to reach out to me or you can just comment it on this youtube videos thank you very much for watching this see you in the next video bye bye keep learning